The bottled water industry is now worth $334 billion. This bottle of Coke is 72 cents per litre, while this bottle of water is $8 per litre. So why are we so driven to buy what we can already get for free? Is it the aesthetic packaging or is it the marketing? I want to investigate the validity of these water bottle claims flooding the market. But what I found will shock you even more by utilizing pH probes, by talking to doctors and food scientists, and through studying primary and secondary research, I found that Alka Power didn't even comply with their own marketing. I found that balance was more acidic than acid rain. And all of this led me to this conclusion. In order to follow along today, there's just one concept to be familiar with, and that is pH. pH is measured on a scale from 0 to 14, and it measures how acidic something is. If something has a pH value of below 7, it is considered an acid, and if it is above 7, it is considered alkaline. Our tap water is generally around 7, but since bottled water usually has additives, then its pH will stray away from 7. And we will use pH quite heavily in this experiment, but now I believe that we can get started. My aim is to assess the validity of advertising by three bottled water brands, Balance, Aqualove and Alka Power. My hypothesis is that they are all false. Let's get started with our first brand, Aqualove, a new competitor in the bottled water market, now sold at Coles, Woolworths and other major chain supermarkets. So extensive. Aqualove claims that its water has a pH level between 9 and 10, which we found out to be true. And they say that by drinking a high pH water, we can maintain a good level of alkalinity, allowing us to neutralize acid in the body. But what part of the body are they talking about? Can I learn more about a product? Hi Adeline, of course you can. What information can we help you with? It says on your website that Aqualove can help in maintaining a neutral air within the body. What part of the body are you referring to? Yeah, I got scene zoned and they didn't reply. So I did my own research on the ideal pH levels of each body part, and I came to the conclusion that they were talking about blood. A small study conducted by D. Hale in the Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition investigated the short-term effects of drinking alkaline water on blood and urine pH. And surprisingly, by drinking alkaline water, pH rose, supporting Aqualove's claim. And sure, the resulting graph looks quite impressive, but we have to draw our attention to the truncated y-axis and we can see that the difference is only 0.1 on the pH scale. Therefore, it won't have a significant effect on our body. However, Aqualab didn't specify to what extent their water will affect our body. For that reason, the claims of Aqualab are technically correct. Next is Alka Power, which claims to be the perfect sports steroid. Alka Power advertises that its high pH water helps relieve soreness, aids in supplement absorption, improves performance, and speeds the recovery process. It almost sounds too good to be true. I asked Lisa Chen, a food scientist, for her opinion. As a food scientist, I believe these claims are completely Maintaining an acidic stomach pH is necessary for digestion. Therefore, supplement absorption will be in fact reversed. And with that, we can disprove one of Alka Power's claims. Regarding whether Alka Power improves sports performance, we investigated an assertion by Dr. Colbert on the Jim Backer show. You said, in fact, you wrote it out in a prescription to have, start drinking pH water. And our body naturally starts to detox and cleanse and our energy starts to increase. Assuming that increased energy levels will improve performance, we can support at least one of Alka Power's claims. Now to research if alkaline water will relieve soreness and increase recovery time. Soreness after a workout is caused by a buildup of lactic acid in the muscles. Alkalinewater.com argues that alkaline water is beneficial in the regards that it rids the body of acid. At first, I was quite skeptical of this because it just seems too good to be true. However, the speed of natural recovery is propelled by increased oxygen flow in the body, which has been affirmed by the work of Sang Wang, who asserts in her article, the hydroxide ions in alkaline water increases stable oxygen in the body and thus 
circulation, allowing the body to self-heal. And with that, we can come to the conclusion that the claims of alka power are at least mildly true. However, when I tested for the pH of alka power, it came up with a shocking reading of 10.57, over 5% percentage error from the range advertised. In disbelief, I re-ran the same experiment, but I came up with the same results. So I called them and asked for a statement. Hello. Um, hello, my name is Adeline. Is this Alka Power Water? Yes, it is. Oh, um, I'm doing a student research project on your water. I was just wondering if I could ask a quick question. Sorry, I had to cut a part out because the teacher walked in, but basically I asked if I could record this. Uh, yes, sure. Um, where are you located? Thank you so much. Okay, um, my question is, so I was testing the pH of your water and the outcome was 10.5. So I was just wondering um, like, what might have happened for it to rise from 10 to 10.5. The question is more alkaline, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, oh, okay. We've got a, a, a good batch, an extra good batch. Wow, thanks Alka Power for a really good batch. So then I stalked them on Facebook and I came across this video where they were testing for the pH of their own water. Okay, so this is the video on their Facebook. See? Okay, and then it reaches 10 and then the video stops. Right? Tell me that isn't dodgy. So then I stalked them on YouTube and they have a video on their channel where they were talking about how some specific pH testers gave inaccurate readings. And if we watch the video really closely, we can see here they're testing it with a probe first, but then as soon as it hits 9.9, .9, oh, out of the water it goes and face down on the table. So Alkapower's claims were technically true because all of the research that I conducted was into alkaline water and alkaline water is just considered water with a pH of above 7. However, it can't be denied that Alkapower itself is quite devious for not being honest on their packaging, which makes their advertising quite invalid. Our final water that we'll be testing is Balance, who claims that it's water helps you pee. So my friend Jennifer called Balance to ask them how their water helped you pee. They never got back. Balance contains four flower essences, which apparently makes it superior to other waters. So I made the assumption that it was the flower essences inside of the water that helped you pee. She oak, bush iris, papaya, and bottle brush. The first flower is she oak, which I found to have a myriad of health benefits, but none of which were to help you pee. Bush iris tended to help with spirituality, but it wasn't exactly a catalyst for your bladder. Although papaya, as many sources claims, helps to rid the body of toxins, which I suppose would help you pee. And the final flower is bottle brush, which apparently clears the urinary tract and is used as a diuretic. And I suppose for this reason, bottle brush does help you pee. And with that, we can... Wasn't this the water with the acid rain pH? part of my experiment but I'm still quite alarmed that the pH of balance is so high. So I sent them an email. They didn't reply. So I left my experiment there with the conclusion that yes it would help you pee. Now for a summary of the results. Aqualove passed as we proved that it had an alkalinity between 9 and 10 as advertised and through secondary research we found that it rose blood pH towards neutral at least a little bit. Alka Power both failed and passed, with three of its claims being supported by secondary sources whilst one was disproved by Lisa Chen. However, their water was too alkaline and did not support their own packaging. For this reason, its advertising is barely valid. Despite Balance being extremely acidic, its advertising is still valid as we found at least two of the four flowers helped with urinary function. Do you face any challenge? Uh, yes, I did face a few. The first was that I felt that throughout my investigation I had to make a lot of assumptions about things. There were quite a lot, so if you want to have a look at all the assumptions I made, um, there's a link in the description box which actually has a sequential log 
of uh, my experiments. Another challenge that I faced, I'd found a lot of contradicting evidence and I had to really sort through everything to find the most reliable evidence, but I feel that that really could have affected the accuracy of my experiment. Do you have any recommendations for other people doing their experiments? I feel like in order to improve the experiment which I did, I would definitely consider contacting the water bottle companies much earlier in advance. Because even though I gave them quite a lot of time, I gave them between a month and a fortnight, it took them a long time to get back to me, if they even did. So for that reason, I would definitely recommend starting the investigation earlier. Okay. Thank you for watching Study with Adeline. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you would like to get notified when I upload, click subscribe and press the bell. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. A little bit too much of Hennessy. It's gonna tell y'all.